Hi friends, so today I'm going to read you a story called The Little Red Stroller. And I really love it because it talks about the importance of family and also talks about the importance of diversity and having diverse families. So I hope you all will enjoy it. So The Little Red Stroller by Joshua First and illustrated by Katie Boone. A long time ago, when Luna was just two weeks old, her mommy gave her a little red stroller. For now, it lived in the hallway. But as Luna got bigger, she used it to go to school and the playground. And on weekends, Luna and her mommy and the little red stroller wandered up and down the avenue from the bagel place to the flower shop to the pizzeria where Luna liked to get her favorite olive pizza. One day, Luna bumped into her downstairs neighbor, Ernie, and his mommy and daddy. We wish we had a little red stroller like yours, they told Luna. I'm too big for my red stroller now. Why don't you take it, Luna said. So they did. And on sunny days, Ernie and his mommy and daddy and the little red stroller roamed around the park from the Japanese garden to the carousel where Ernie got to ride the lion. One day, Ernie and his mommy and daddy had lunch with Gigi. Gigi and her daddy were going on a trip to visit Gigi's grandpa. We wish we had a stroller to take with us, Gigi's daddy said. We got this little red stroller from Luna, but I'm too big for it now. Why don't you take it, said Ernie. So they did. And Gigi and her daddy and the little red stroller meandered all over the cute little town where Gigi's grandpa lived, from the river to the farmer's market to her grandpa's house where he cooked a yummy meal in a special pot called the pressure cooker. One day, long after they got home, Gigi and her daddy met Callie at the playground. Callie and her two mommies were going to a birthday party. We wish we had a stroller like yours, one of Callie's mommies said. We got this little red stroller from Ernie, but I'm too big for it now, said Gigi. Why don't you take it? So they did. And Callie and her mommies and the little red stroller rolled all the way to the birthday party where they saw a magic show and ate ice cream cake and dressed up as pirates to go on a treasure hunt. Callie found a doubloon. One day, after she'd been to many more birthday parties, Callie and her mommies had dinner with Taj. Taj and his mommy and daddy were going to the countryside to visit a farm. We wish we had a stroller to take with us, Taj's mommy and daddy said. We got this little red stroller from Gigi, Callie said, but I'm far too big for it now. Why don't you take it? So they did. And Taj and his mommy and daddy and the little red stroller rambled all around the farm, from the field where they chased chickens, to the barn where they fed alpacas, to the stand where Taj got to drink some real yummy apple cider. One day, Taj and his mommy and daddy met Kavi. Kavi and his mommy and daddy were going to the beach. Like Callie and Gigi and Ernie and Taj and even Luna, who was getting to be a pretty big girl now, Kavi needed a stroller. And like Callie and Gigi and Ernie and Luna and their mommies and their daddies and their mommies and their mommies and daddy and mommy, Taj and his mommy and daddy gave the little red stroller to Kavi. Who 
who clapped along the boardwalk with it before, giving it to Sula and her two daddies, who marched in a Halloween parade with it, and then gave it to Caroline and her mommy and daddy, who took it camping in the mountains before they gave it to Maxine and her mommy and daddy, who went all the way to Texas and back with it before they gave it to Sila and his mommy and daddy. After traveling up and down the avenue and around the park and all over the cute little town by the river and to about a hundred birthday parties to say nothing of marching in Halloween parade and to a farm and to the beach and camping in the mountains and going all the way to Texas and back, the little red stroller was so tattered and tired it could go on no farther. One day, when they were out with the little red stroller, Sila and his mommy and daddy sat on the steps of the museum feeling sad. When Ben and his mommy saw them crying, Ben asked, what's wrong? Our little red stroller has broken, said Sila's mommy and daddy. Ben and his mommy thought about this, and then they had an idea. We have a little yellow stroller, Ben said. I'm too big for it now. Why don't you take it? So they did. And since it was summer and there was a free music festival happening in the park, Sila and his mommy and daddy and the little red stroller wandered over to eat corn on the cob and cheesy arepas and sang along to songs that they knew by heart. One day, Sila and his mommy and daddy met Luna, who'd grown up by then and had a baby of her own. His name was Isaiah, and he was just two weeks old. When Sila thought that Isaiah didn't have a stroller, he said, We've got this little yellow red stroller from Ben, but I'm far too big for it now. Why don't you take it? And so Luna's baby Isaiah did. The end. So it looks like the stroller went full circle. So I hope you all enjoyed that story and I will see you next time.